Hey guys, it's Jeff and Matt Kite, and I'm excited today to share with you the release of part of Norse 2024 release of the North Code Zero. This is their second version, and I got a chance to ride this on three days, three different days, in very light winds. Uh, before I get into all that, I am pretty excited with what North's doing here. They've this year marks a start of kind of a new branding for them. And you can see it right out of the gate. Some of you that have been in the industry for a while, maybe back in the 80s, North Sail. Uh, they're, they're going with the North logo and they changed their logo up to the NS for North Sail. Love that. Reminds me of when I got into windsurfing back in the day. Uh, so very nice. And North right out of the gate, is their, their products are just, they, they speak of high class and, they, and real thought out and real done well. So the Code Zero. Uh, what have they done different? This is their second version, and they've done a few upgrades to the, to the second version. Now, I had a chance to, I'm, I'm part of our wing team here at Mac Kite, but I also kited for years and kite foiled. And uh, I share all that because I hadn't kite foiled in about a year, and I got on this kite in about nine to 11 knots and was just kind of blown away at the easiness to engage with it. It's blowing probably 10. 10 to 12 knots, and I'm on an eight. I weigh 175 pounds. Eight is just how the amount of power it has, yet it doesn't pull really hard. It feels very steady in the sky. It just wants to float. It's just amazing how much float and how light and uh, playful feels in the in the air. Uh, and again, it generates an amazing amount of power, uh, yet a very light bar pressure. Very steady, smooth. It's just, I'm blown away. Nice job, North. So today I'd like to just go over some of the brief highlights of what they've done with the version two and how that translated on the water. Uh, like I said, I haven't been uh, kite foiling in a while. And so I feel the changes they made did transfer into how you pilot this kite and what it, the feedback that it gives. Uh, to begin with, as I said, I love the new branding, the North Sail. Uh, the bags are very nice, durable. And then obviously the, the kite itself. First thing they did with the leading edge, they call it their NMAX material. Uh, it makes it lighter and also gives it a little more rigidity. That's something you're hearing a lot with kites. Their leading edges are making them more uh, stiff and they're lighter materials. Um, they did this on this on this uh, this version of the, the Code Zero and I think they did a wonderful job. And I'll talk about a little bit later what that transfer, transfers into. The material in the canopy, they call it their N High Tenacity Yarn Ripstop. Again, you'll hear this in the industry, lighter material, one that has uh, a lot of strength to it though as well, even though it's lighter. And I do feel that that did transfer into how it felt in the sky. So those are two things with the leading edge and also the bladders, they made them lighter. Another thing too with the bridles is they adjusted them slightly. Um, they took the bridles and moved them to the back edge a little bit more of the leading edge, which actually increases the kite's uh, direct steering and reduces the load in the middle of the kite, which makes it still feel kind of light and playful in the sky. So that is exactly what I felt when I got on, the, on this kite. Again, I hadn't been on a, a kite foil in about a year and I just, I was blown away when I did the first down, you know, downstroke to, to, to get up on this kite that it felt very light uh, on the hands and yet you knew where it was. And I do believe that is partially due to the increased stiffness that they've done on the leading edge, how light it felt in the sky and then with that bridle adjustment, made it so you could just a real direct feel, and yet it was light, which is a great combination when you're, when you're wing foiling. The, day that, the days that I went out, it was very light. Uh, one of the days I had a little bit flatter water and wavy, uh, had some waves, so there were some things that you had to kind of focus on. And what I feel that where this kite nails it is you don't have to focus on the kite at all. I mean, I didn't, never felt like I had to look at it, see where it's at. What you felt in your hands and where it was in the sky, it, it, it just parked and it was where you felt it should be. Um, I did do some experiments of trying to have it uh, back stall. Uh, I walked in, to, you know, downwind with it straight up in the air and it, it would just stay, just stay right up there. 
Another characteristic that kind of blew me away with this, again, I think it has something to do with some of the, the increased materials uh, that they've done and the bridles is that it just parks. It just stays and drifts incredibly well. I, I, I feel that they just nailed it in that area and that's what you want in a kite uh, that you're using for foiling. You don't want to have to worry about the kite whatsoever. And I felt, again, I, I always like to tell in my videos, I haven't been kite foiling in a while, so that gives you a little bit of, I was very quickly able to engage and use this kite and feel confident on it. Uh, so you could just kind of like put it up in the sky and forget about it. And those of you who foil a lot understand the importance of a kite that does that, that you don't have to worry about it falling out of the sky. Um, I did do some transitions where I didn't down loop it. I, I like to down loop a kite in, in light wind to make sure that if I do mess up and I, I, I go in the water, that the kite's on its way up. Uh, but I also did some other traditional turns with this, with this uh, kite and I was again really impressed with its ability to uh, be in the sky where you're, you're steering it and it doesn't deviate much from, from that spot and, it, and even though it's got light bar pressure, it's very intuitive of where it should be. And another note, fairly fast. I mean, it's, it's fast. So I mean, to have that combination, a, a light foil kite, one that's responsive and playful and fast, yet doesn't feel out of control. Code zero, they nailed it uh, with, with this kite. Uh, they, this kite is specific more for foiling, but they also say you can use it in waves. Uh, I have not ridden in waves yet, but I, I do feel that it could be uh, a kite that uh, would do well in waves. I have been on some other uh, single strut and no strut foil kites where I think the North Code kind of stands above is again in that bridle position that they did. When you downstroke to get power on this kite, you don't lose it. It doesn't fold in on itself or feel like it takes, it, 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 it sucks that power up. It actually, you can feel the power, but it's not so much power that it feels out of control or you can't tame it. Very good balance. Uh, of that, of power to get you up on foil. Uh, and then the low end grunt blew me away. This was the eight meter. Uh, I weigh 175 pounds and I felt that I wouldn't need anything, let's say larger than this. Again, I was in between nine and 12 knots, gusting to 12 at times. Um, I would say if it got much more than 12, 13, 14 knots, if you can believe this, I would, this would probably be a little too much. Um, so they nailed it with the, the, the low end grunt. Uh, and again, just the intuitive feel of it. I know we hear a lot about lighter materials, stronger materials, bridle adjustments, but with this North, the 2024 North Code Zero, I believe all those refinements that they did, did transfer uh, into a kite that, that performs uh, like it should. So if you're looking for a kite foil and potentially a, 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 wave, a wave kite that is playful, it's light bar pressure, yeah, it's very intuitive of where it is, uh, drifts very well, uh, has power, and, and does fly rather quickly, yet still feels in control, this would be the kite for you. If you have any other questions, we'd be happy here at Mad Kite to answer those questions. Give us a call, email us, or send us a chat. Uh, enjoy the stoke.